Today is Friday, February 17th. Today we're going to be talking about the trim tag data plates for the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. This is the typical plate you'll find riveted to the firewall of the engine compartment. And in dealing with the trim tag data plate designations, what we're going to be concerned with is the trim code, which is in the midline right here at the midline, where we have TR designating for trim, and of course the paint code over here, which 1261 is indicative of a Grecian white paint, number 12, and the 452 is white leather, followed by the dash and its blank. There is no suffix after the 452, which is normally where you would find designations for bucket seats with a B, or bucket seats with headrests and recliner as an R unlike the B at the bottom line, which is a designation for the rear defogger, rear window defogger. So in this particular example, there's a vehicle being purported to be equipped with front bucket seats because there is a B designation down here at the bottom of the trim tag data plate, which as I said earlier, is indicative of the rear window defogger. <clears throat> as opposed to the proper suffix being after the trim code 452. So for a novice Cadillac owner or a new time buyer or somebody who uh, has not developed a strong interest in understanding the decoding of these trim tag data plates, uh, they could be easily convinced that this car is a bucket seat car when in fact it is not a bucket seat car from the standpoint of how it was originally delivered from the factory as a period correct bucket seat factory delivered vehicle. Whereby an original period correct factory delivered bucket seat 1967 first year front wheel drive generation Eldorado has a valuation of at least double of what the standard bench seat configuration typically sells for. So again, I just want to emphasize that a authentic and authentic Bucket seat configured factory delivered 1967 Cadillac Eldorado would have a suffix designation B, or if it has the recliner on the passenger side for the bucket seat, R, as the suffix following the trim code, which in this case is 452. So what we have here is basically an erroneous representation of a front bucket seat car because of the defogger code at the bottom of the trim tag data plate. And we can see that somebody went through a lot of trouble go ahead and configure this vehicle bucket seats and we could look here for instance at the passenger side photo of the bucket seat and we can see the actuating release bar for the reclining back of the passenger seat so when we have a bucket seat configuration with a recliner in the passenger side that would be designated as an R as opposed to two bucket seats not having the recliner, which would be designated as a B. So I'm going to switch over very quickly to the Cadillac LaSalle Club uh, <clears throat> documentation for upholstery and accessory. This is a database that has been created. It's 173 pages, covers all the years. I'm going to go to page 98, up immediately to 1967, and here we can see certain uh, code designations for the trim tag data plate, such as number 12 being Grecian white. And if I go to the next page, 99, and scroll a little bit further down. Oops, sorry about that. We can see the 452 trim code right here which specifies white leather with black carpet. And further down, we can see B suffix denotes front bucket seats. B suffix, suffix meaning after or an appendage, okay, to the 452. So 452 followed by a B suffix would be a designation for the bucket seats. Now, if we go to the 1967 
optional equipment and accessories, we can see where a standard B is the defogger for the rear window. Unlike the B, which is located as a suffix of immediately appending the trim code, that is the B that designates bucket seats. Okay, so going back to our example here, where this particular seller is purporting this vehicle to be a bucket seat on the basis of it actually having bucket seats and a B designating at the B designation at the bottom of the trim tag, which as I've just pointed out is for the rear defogger and not for the bucket seats, absent from the B designation as a suffix to the trim code 452. What we have here is an example of a car that is purporting to be an original bucket seat car as per the representations of the seller, okay, which any potential buyer is going to rely on these representations and he's going to make a buying decision in part based on the assertions and representations by the seller. So knowledge is power when it comes to classic cars. Understanding that a B designation for bucket seat must be a suffix after the interior trim code when we're dealing with 1967 General Motors Cadillac, specifically the Eldorado in this instance. And anything other than that, such as a B designation at the bottom, indicative of a rear window defogger, would be totally erroneous in terms of representing it, representing this vehicle as a bucket seat car. Now, the car may be beautiful, the car may be nice, buyers purchase cars all the time for lots of different reasons, uh, and this car should be able to be sold and fetch a very nice price based on an accurate representation. So there's really no need for this seller to be uh, purporting the car to be a B designated vehicle from the factory with bucket seats when there's so many other things involving this particular vehicle that make it a nice vehicle but are not period correct and not original. I can speak to the engine compartment being detailed wrong, the carburetor being a 1969 as opposed to a 1967, the radio being an aftermarket radio. And let's take a look at that instrument cluster. I'm going to find that instrument cluster and we're going to go ahead and zoom up so that we can see that this vehicle right here, here we go, is equipped with the rear window defogger. So here is the switch for the rear window defogger. That is the B designation on the bottom line of the trim tag data plate. Here it is again, right next to an up down button for the power antenna, which is also not original to support the non-original radio that has non-original buttons. Okay, because in 1967, the power antenna for the radio goes up and down by pushing and pulling the knob of the radio. So looking here at the close-up, we can see here's the rear window defogger, and here's this aftermarket up and down antenna button, which is not in, not absolutely not original to the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. Okay, uh, and it's only equipped as such in order to facilitate this aftermarket radio, which is not a, an original 1967 Cadillac radio. So having said all that, we'll go back to the B designation, again, being only a suffix when dealing with an original bucket seat car. We've got a lot of photos here uh, providing disclosure. Uh, we can go here and take a look at the carburetor. We can see that in 1967, an original quadrajet carburetor would have a round seal right here designating the fourth character in the sequence of the numbering system with a seven indicative of a 1967 Rochester carburetor. Now this here has either a nine or a zero, it's hard to make out, and that four, fourth location in the carburetor 
numbering sequence is indicative of the model year. So this would be a 1969 carburetor, which was designed for the 472 engine and not a 1967 carburetor, which is period correct and designed specifically for the 429 engine, of which 1967 is the last year for using the 429 engine. 1968 being the follow-on year is a 472 engine, as is also 1969, and that's where this particular style of carburetor uh, would be seen in 1969. So there's a lot of liberties taken with this vehicle. I'm not saying the vehicle's not nice. I'm not saying uh, anything regarding it. There's always a ready, willing, and able buyer for a car. Uh, just the cars have to be properly disclosed. Uh, and And for those of you who are serious Cadillac enthusiasts, you recognize that the color here is not correct either. It's not the original deep, dark Cadillac blue, but is more indicative of a Ford blue or something like that. Okay. And this is not the correct uh, master cylinder for the front wheel drive Eldorado, as is it does not have the proportioning valve and the 7030 distribution uh, that facilitates uh, the monolithic four piston caliper uh, original equipment disc brakes so there's a lot of liberties taken with this vehicle don't really care about any of those other than the fact that what we're dealing with is a car that is purporting to be a bucket seat car and that's all really that this video is about educating our Cadillac friends as to how to read the trim tag data plate and how to understand the difference between a true authentic factory delivered bucket seat car whereby the B designation would follow the trim tag designation of 452 in this instance re immediately after the dash as opposed to somebody modifying the vehicle sticking bucket seats in the car and then utilizing the rear window defogger designation in order to purport and represent the vehicle as being a bucket seat car so that's it for today today's friday february 17th Thank you very kindly.